Gregory, do you see that small vent on the floor? Listen, I need you to be sus. I know it'll be hard, but I know you can do it, Superstar. I need you to vent. Vent, Gregory. Vent. Come on, Gregory. I need you to vent. Come on, Gregory. You can vent by pressing the like button, Gregory. Come on, Superstar. I know you can do it. Press the like button to vent. Come on, Gregory. Vent. Vent before it's too late, Gregory. Gregory. Oh. Yo guys, what is up? Today we are back in Security Breach and we are back to play some more Fire Nights at Freddy Six. Psych, we're in Gary's mod. Yes, guys, that is right. We finally have our first official FNAF Security Breach Gmod map straight from the game. So, uh, yeah, so we are in Glamrock Freddy's green screen room. So this is brand new. It just came out and this is amazing so uh yeah so this is straight from security breach this is the first security breach map we actually have on gmod well we've had some previous security breach map but this is the first official security breach map that's actually straight from the game itself so as you can see we are currently in glam rock freddy's green room so uh this is where you start off in security breach you start off in glam rock freddy's room and this is the best map to have first so uh yeah so we're just we're just in glam rock freddy's room um so you're probably wondering well what else is there to this map um i mean this, this is pretty it's just glamrock freddy's room i mean there, there's nothing else i mean it looks fantastic um but yeah if you look out glamrock freddy's room you can just uh you just see the the endless endless void it's just the void it's oh yeah so uh this is pretty much ah that's right this is pretty much it to the entire map but i gotta say this is still really cool to have so that way if you want to do any posing or any propping and stuff in this room you easily can now so um yeah so anyways i know with uh gary's mod it has its limit so obviously we can't have the entire security breach map ported to gary's mod but something i think would be really cool to see happen maybe in the future is if we could get all the other green screens and at least get rockstar row so that way we could have like the four green rooms and then have the hallway right here i think that would be pretty cool to have but i don't know if that's possible but it is confirmed that the other three green rooms will be coming in the future um but currently we only have freddy fazbear's room so uh yeah so this is the room straight from security breach just plopped into gary's mod so um yeah so one thing i think that's really nice is we got this big old star on the ceiling um i actually never noticed this when i first played security breach so you got a nice star you got a nice freddy fazbear sign it's very interesting that it's yellow and purple kind of reminds me of fredbear not gonna lie um so yeah you even have freddy's microphone his mic stand you even have a little glamour freddy um statue back there and also something i think that's nice is like you have this thing of oil you know it's like freddy was drinking some oil back here you know pretty nice pretty nice um let's see in uh wait is this a is that a faz cam Wait, are you telling me there's a faz cam this entire time in Glamrock Freddy's room? And you're telling me we had to go to Monty Golf for no reason to get the faz cam when there's one in Freddy's room this entire time? Are you serious? Is this actually in the map? Oh my god, are you kidding me? But yeah, so this is Glamrock Freddy's green room, so this is where you could come in and meet Glamrock Freddy, chill out with him on his couch, and um, just hang out with good old Glamrock Freddy. So uh, yeah, I love how there's a Freddy popsicle just laying there on the table that's definitely not gonna melt or anything like that um but uh, yeah i mean this is glamour freddy's green screen so this is on gmod if you guys want to check it out it will be a link in the description below and yes guys that is right today's video we're going over all the brand new add-ons that have come out throughout april so uh yeah there's a lot of brand new random add-ons and it's it's finally that time to do another random add-on review video where i just cram all these a, a bunch of small little add-ons into one video so that way you guys can get all the latest and newest add-ons from the simple video so uh yeah so again these videos are just a nice little way to say hey this is what's new on the gmod workshop and uh, just to show it off to see if you guys are interested in checking out for yourself so uh all the links to all the add-ons that will be featured in this video will be linked in the description below so uh yeah and also before we hop into this add-on review video for today make sure to leave a like on this video if you guys do want to see me continue doing these review videos so your support is always helpful so uh yeah but anyways um so as you can see this is the first one on the list the glamour freddy's green room map so um again there will be future green room maps in the future but right now we have freddy fazbear's so if you guys want to check out this map for yourself i highly recommend it this looks so freaking cool so uh, i'm so glad we finally have a proper security reach map so this looks fantastic it even has the little button and yes there is nothing on this door over here it's just the oh my god you stopped turning on my flashlight it's just the green room so uh again i still love it i think it looks fantastic and it's really cool to be able to see this in gary's mod so uh yeah 
So, in honor of us being on a security breach map, I thought we would start off by looking over the security breach new add-ons for this video. So, first up, we got a brand new Glamrock Bonnie model. Wait, where is he? Glamrock Bonnie. Uh, uh. Oh my gosh, he's short. So yes, guys, we have Adventure Glam Rock Bonnie. This is actually really cool to see. So recently on Gmod, we've been getting a ton of FNAF World Adventure type content. And today, we actually have some adventure versions of the Glam Rock animatronic. So first up we got is Glam Rock Bonnie. So this is what Glam Rock Bonnie would look like if he was in FNAF World. So this is Adventure Glam Rock Bonnie. So I gotta say... This dude looks so, so cool. I love how we're getting so much Glamrock Bonnie stuff, but we actually haven't seen Glamrock Bonnie in Security Breach. So, uh, yeah, you gotta love this character. So, this is Glamrock Bonnie, or as I should say, Adventure Glamrock Bonnie. So, look at th look at this beautiful boy. Isn't he beautiful? So, again, he's basically just Bonnie, but super, super small. And uh, you can give him his guitar. So, uh, this is what his guitar looks like. It's nice and purple. So, uh, there you go. You got Adventure Glamrock Bonnie. Again, there isn't really much to be said about this boy i mean it's just glamrock bonnie but he's like a little he's a little version so i gotta say this looks amazing and i gotta say adventure bonnie is super super cute so uh yeah and speaking of adventure glamrock bonnie we also have another adventure security breach animatronic and that is adventure glamrock chica so yes we also have an adventure version of glamrock chica as well so uh yeah so this is what glamrock chica would look like if she was in fnaf world i gotta say she looks fantastic she has no body groups like bonnie um but she does look super super lovely and that is a super long beak. Holy frick. She's going to peck somebody with that. She's going to go uh, peck, peck. Okay, well, anyways. So, yeah. So, you got Glamrock Chica. Um, she looks really, really cool. Um, again, I don't really... There isn't really much to be said about these guys. It's just like the Glamrock Hammer Trunks have been shrunk down. Um, but it would be awesome if we ever got a new FNAF World. I know we probably won't. But it would be cool if we got a FNAF World fan game where it features, like, Security Breach animatronics in it. And also, like, Sister Location animatronics as well. I think that would be fan fantastic so uh yeah but there you guys go there's adventure glamour chica and adventure bonnie unfortunately that is all the security breach and adventure animatronics we currently have on the workshop we might get the other advent we might get the other adventure glamour animatronics in the future but it's nothing's confirmed right now so at least we got adventure glamour chica and adventure glamour bonnie and i gotta say these two look fantastic so uh yeah there you guys go adventure glamour chica and glamour bonnie they'll be linked in the description below check them out if you want to so yeah so, speaking of FNAF World, yes guys, that is right, we finally have the Five Nights at Freddy's 3 FNAF World pack. So, I know a lot of people are kind of tired of me reviewing FNAF World add-ons just because we've been getting so many recently on the workshop. Again, it's so fantastic to see FNAF World get some love, but I know some of you guys are kind of tired of me going over FNAF World stuff. So, I'm going to try to go through this really quick so that way we can move on to some brand new stuff. Um, but yeah, so right here we have all the characters from FNAF 3 in their FNAF World World adventure form so uh yeah so we're gonna quickly go over everybody so first up we got is springtrap so springtrap is very different from his original design um when comparing him from adventure springtrap to the actual springtrap so one main notice is that he actually has a second earpiece um and then something else is that he actually that adventure springtrap actually has no gore or purple guy inside of him he just has a regular endo bindo inside of him and also something else to take notice of is also his feet because um, normally with the, FNAF, the original FNAF 3 Springtrap, he has his Indo feet exposed. But with Adventure Springtrap, his feet are covered up. Whereas the original Springtrap had his feet uncovered. And again, there's no purple guy inside of him. And also with his eyes, instead of it being like the spooky like phantom eyes like these guys. Or similar to it, there's like just gray eyes. So uh, yeah, that's um that's pretty much it for Springtrap. Just going to go through him super quick. So there's Adventure Springtrap. Gotta say, Adventure Springtrap is always, was always interesting to me. Definitely not one of my favorite Adventure models. Just because he looks so different and like not as good as like the original spring trap but obviously it's a version to made look cute but this doesn't really when i look at this like i don't really think of spring trap i i my mind immediately wants to say plush trap um but this is spring trap so uh adventure spring trap again was not really one of my favorite adventure models um but he is still pretty cool and as you can see he is kind of cranky so uh there you go there's a adventure spring trap so anyways next up we got is adventure phantom freddy so this is the phantom version of freddy just basically got some fan phantom textures on him, but he is missing his ear and also something to take notice of is that phantom freddy does not have his eye wires unlike his original fnaf 3 counterpart but he does have his microphone everybody loves phantom freddy and his microphone so uh yeah i mean that's pretty much it for phantom freddy um let's see with the okay so with uh spring trap you can take away his eyelids if you want and then you can also 
change it to the Dark Spring Trap, where basically Dark Spring Trap just doesn't have his pelvis. And uh, you can change the skin, so we actually have Black Light Spring Trap as well. And then you also have the Adventure Dark Spring Trap. So this is a fun little skin, and this is a reference to the Sister Location cutscene. Um, so, because Dark Spring Trap just does not have his pelvis for some reason. I don't know why Scott Hawthorne was a sussy wussy guy. So anyways, we got Phantom Freddy here. You can also, again, take away his eyelids and also his microphone. So yeah, that's, um, that's pretty much it for Phantom Freddy. I gotta say, it looks really, really cool. And yes, I know a lot of people are wondering, am I going to do a FNAF World roleplay? Yes, I'm going to do a FNAF World roleplay, but I think I am going to try to wait for the Nightmare animatronics to come out, because whenever the Nightmares come out, that'll be pretty much all the adventure animatronics. Sure, there'll be a few misfits here and there, but hopefully whenever, but hopefully we can get a Nightmare pack or a FNAF 4 pack super, super soon of FNAF World characters, and definitely whenever that comes out, I will definitely get to work on a FNAF World roleplay. So, uh, yeah, I know that's something a lot of people have been requesting and been wanting me to do so um yeah uh that's something to look forward to anyways guys let's go ahead and move on to phantom chica again there isn't really much to say about the phantoms because again most of them are just retextures um phantom chica is just pretty much just a straight up retexture of chica um and she does look like a watermelon that that is just straight that is a watermelon you cannot tell me that is not a water watermelon phantom chica is just straight up a watermelon so uh there, there's phantom chica i mean I, I i i'm trying to stay cool stuff and to make her unique but really that's that's it she's just a different texture and that's um that's phantom chica for you so i mean that that's all i can say so there, there's phantom chica oh poor chica doesn't get a lot of love but again phantom chica is just straight up a watermelon so yeah if you turn this around and get rid of her little hair piece that is that is a watermelon so um yeah phantom chica is just a watermelon watermelon confirmed watermelon is canon in fnaf guys watermelon is canon um but anyways next up we have is phantom foxy phantom foxy has always been a bit of a cool phantom because like all the other phantoms have had like a green texture to them while phantom foxy is a bit more of a reddish orange phantom texture texture to him and obviously um phantom foxy was based off of withered foxy so he still got that like you're exposed bit more withering to him and also with phantom foxy the only thing that really was changed on him is that he's missing his arm so uh or technically his hook as well so uh, that's pretty much like the main thing that's missing with phantom foxy and um other than that he's pretty much just a retexture so there's phantom foxy anyways next up we got is phantom balloon boy again just balloon boy but retextured as a phantom so again i don't really have much to say about him he's just balloon boy so haha -ha, uh we're gonna move on to puppet now puppet phantom puppet here is kind of unique so unlike the original puppet um phantom puppet here or not even from the original fnaf 3 puppet i don't know why scott Cawthon did this um but for some reason the adventure fnaf world phantom puppet has teeth i don't know why and that is creepy i don't know why i know nightmare on does have teeth but for some reason the adventure phantom puppet has teeth but if i recall from the original fnaf 3 the original phantom puppet from fnaf 3 did not have teeth but this is just that's just creepy i i don't know why so that's one of the main differences from phantom puppet to the original puppet is that phantom puppet actually has teeth so uh yeah that's um that's kind of creepy and unsettling. I'm uh, I'm not gonna lie. Anyways, we got Phantom Mangle. Phantom Mangle again, just like regular Mangle, or it's pretty much just regular Mangle, but retextured as a phantom skin. So uh, pretty much the exact same as Adventure Mangle, but just got all these little phantom textures. So uh, and also there is some body groups you can take away the bow tie, and um, that's pretty much it. So yeah, there's your quick speedy FNAF 3 FNAF World review. Again, I want to go through that kind of quick because I know you guys are kind of sick of me going over FNAF World stuff. But I gotta inform you guys on when all these new add-ons come out. So uh, the FNAF World 3 pack is here. It does exist. So if you want to check out for yourself, it will be linked in the description below. So, uh, yeah. All right. So we are finally done with all of the FNAF World content in this video. So now we can move on to something brand new. Oh my gosh. What is this? Oh no. Inkman. What have you done? So yes, this is the original FNAF models, but retextured with the Fred Pack texture. So if you guys don't know, recently we've been doing all we've been going over all the different types of Fred models and stuff. But Inkman here has decided to make a version of the original animatronics, but with the Fred textures enabled. This is this is cursed. So if you want to have some bootleg Freddy Fazbear models, well, uh, here you go. We got Freddy Fazbear and the bootleg. So, uh, yeah, so this is Freddy with Fred's textures on him. As you can see, this is basically what, what Fred would look like if he actually looked like Freddy in his original animatronic form. 
Um, so yeah, and also something as well is that they don't have t that Fred never had teeth, so the teeth are gone. There is no, I don't think there's an endoskeleton. Well, there isn't an. No, there is no endoskeleton. So there is no endoskeleton as well. So uh, yeah, this is just what this is what Fred would look like if he was Freddy. And you have the exact same for all these characters. So I'm gonna go through this pack also very quick as well, because again, it's just basic sense. Um, and also something is that as well as that they don't have their bow ties. Um, and then you even have Foxy here. Oh my gosh, look at Foxy, Foxy. Foxy looks like he has seen some things, so, uh, yeah, you have, like, the Fred version of Foxy, or the Fred texture version of Foxy, and then you even have the Chica version as well with the textures on her, and then you even have the Indo Bindo, so, uh, there you go. So, I thought this was really cool, so I wanted to include it in this video, and I will say this is actually not an add-on, it is actually a dupe, so, uh, yeah, but I thought this looked really cool, and I wanted to show it off in this video and give it a little attention, so if you guys are interested in these models or these dupes, uh, the add-on link to it is on the workshop, and these are also made by Inkman, so basically just the original FNAF 1 models, but retextured to look like their Fred form, so, uh, these are very spooky, and I thought they looked super cool, so I, I wanted to include them in this video, so, uh, there you go, you got all these, oh my gosh, that's so weird seeing Foxy without teeth, it looks like somebody came over and knocked out all Foxy teeth, and he's like, "R, I'm in pain, oh no, so, uh, yeah, so the links to these guys will be in the description below, these, this is cursed, I I'm scared. Also, quickly speaking of these brand new maps, I actually did review a brand new FNAF events map yesterday for a video, but however, that video came out a little later than normal, so I don't know if everyone saw it or not, so uh, make sure you guys go back and watch that 2022 FNAF events map. That video was a lot of fun to make, and that's one I don't want you guys to miss. So again, I uploaded that video super late at night, um, later than I normally upload, so I want to make sure you guys did not miss out on that video, so uh, make sure you go check that video out. So anyways, I did kind of lie to you guys at the beginning of this video. There is actually some more Cicada Breach models for us to check out. I kind of completely forgot about these. Um, so I actually have at least two more add-on packs that are related to Security Breach. So let's go ahead and check them out. So first up we got is the Princess. Yes, this is very, very random, but this is really cool to, to have. So this is the Princess from the Princess Quest mini games in Security Breach. So if you don't know, in Security Breach, there are like three hidden arcades you can go around and play. And in, in those arcade mini games, the main character is the princess. So this is like the 3D form of the princess. And this is really cool. So in this pack, it has the princess and her little lantern that she holds while running around the place to, uh, to escape Glitch Trap's curse. And also, it, it does seem like this character is confirmed to actually be Cassidy. So this is the princess that represents Cassidy, um, who is like Golden Freddy or whatever, or like the vengeful spirit from Ultimate Custom Night. And basically, he's like, in the, it's like glitched into the code of the arcade, similar to how like William Afton was glitched and became code and turned into the glitch trap basically this is like Cassidy's form or Golden Freddy's form of what they would look like in like help wanted like how the code is like scanned in um so uh yeah very confusing character FNAF lore is very confusing we went from FNAF 1 where we had children being stuffed into animatronics to now having golden princesses going on magical quests to defeat the evil code of a serial killer yep that's uh that's the FNAF lore for you so uh it's, it's very confusing um but anyway so this is the princess from the princess quest mini games she's completely golden again to represent golden freddy um and then you also have the lantern again there isn't really any body groups um but you can actually take out the flame so uh, yeah the flame is out and now she's gonna die that's kind of sad well anyways i mean that's pretty much the princess i gotta say i love this model as well for the like this 3d model of the princess because in security breach we only saw 8-bit versions of her so uh, this is super cool to see in a 3d form so i don't know if i could ever use this in, in any of my videos unless i do like another like security breach role play um, like if I do a remastered Secure Breach roleplay in the future, I haven't fully decided on that yet. Um, but this is something that I could include. So uh, if you want the princess from the Princess Quest mini game, well now you can. The link will be in the description below. This looks fantastic. All right. So anyways, moving on. This will now officially finally be the final Secure Breach add-on I review in this video. So uh, yes, guys, you're not gonna believe it, but we have the Security Breach plushies yes yeah, so we have some plushy ragdolls of all the security breach characters and this plushy pack is massive and when i say massive i mean massive so this is everything that comes with it so you have a bunch of different sized plushies right now i've only spawned in all the small ones and this is all i'm going to spawn in but there's also a bunch of different forms because throughout the security breach pizza plex there's a bunch of different forms of plushies as you can kind of see in glamour freddy's green room you have all these different versions of the glamour freddy plush and all of these different little poses and all these poses have been converted into props in this pack as well so you have like all these 
these like Freddy laying down plushies and then there's also like different resizes. you have like a small version of, of it you have like Freddy plushie on his side so there's there's a lot in this pack and there's a lot to explore with so uh, I gotta say these look really cool but there's also ragdolls of these plushies as well in these packs so I'm gonna quickly just glance over these guys um, to get the main picture so you have the main four Glamrock animatronics and also you have the Sun and the moon so uh, yeah so anyways let's just go in order really quick so first up we got the Sun plushie the Sun is beautiful it's like no shipping no shipping shipping and then you can also take away his little bells on him um, and then it's the same with the moon over here you have the moon and you can take away the bells you can also take away his hat and he just looks bald I'm uh, I'm not gonna lie he looks so much better with the hat so um, yeah there you guys go um, again I'm gonna go over these really quick because again like you guys have seen these models clearly before um, but I'm just gonna quickly go over them and go over all their body groups so you have the uh, Freddy plushie right here glamour Freddy plushie you can take away his tie you can take away his hat you can take away his earring you can also take away his shoulder pads and also his microphone so uh, you can just strip him from his clothes and then throw him into the dumpster so there you go next up we have his Monty you can take away his glasses and also his shoulder pads as well look at Monty Monty looks so snuggly if only I wish we had like high quality plushies like this I know YouTube is making the Vanny plush and also a daycare attended plush as well but it would be really cool to actually get some like more like official security breach plushies I know there is the Funko plushies but I'm not gonna lie they look so bootleg and I'm not really a big fan of the Funko Security Breach plushies, but I wish we could get like some actual plushies that actually represent from the games because these are actually really cool. These would be really cool to have in real life because I think these look fantastic and uh, they look very well made. And then when next up we have is Glamrock Chica. I don't know why, but Glamrock Chica's head is just humongous. I don't know. I think that's kind of funny for the Glamrock Chica plushie, but you can also take away her shoulder pads. And the same thing with Roxanne. You can take away her shoulder pads. You can take away her earring um you can also take away her um ear ear studs what what is that oh her little um piercings right there and then you can also take away her oh god she's bald oh god put the hair back so uh yeah so you have the nice little roxanne plushie right here and she's even she even has a little tail look at that roxanne has a little tail i'm pretty sure monty also have a, has a tail too and yes look at that it even has um it even has physics as well for the uh for the tail so you can move the tail around too so that is super lovely i gotta say this pack is super super adorable so if you want to have some security breach plushies and like throw them around on a map or just do something with them you can make like a little security breach like like plushies like glamour freddy's plushie comes to life or something like that um well you have these add-ons so you have all these models and all of them are fantastic and again there's also a bunch of different props of all the laying down ones and there's also different sizes as well i only spawned in the small ones but there is also like super uh, giant ones as well if I'm correct this is yeah you also have like the giant uh, Glamrock Freddy plush as well and then you can resize them to make him even jumbo Glamrock Freddy plushie so uh, yeah there's all the security breach plushies these are really cool they will also be linked in the description below so feel free to go check them out all right so you guys are not gonna believe this but speaking of plushies we actually have two more small little plushie add-ons to check out in this video so first up we got is this spring trap plushie oh my gosh i don't know why but this looks so cursed but it looks so good like if th this is like a very accurate spring trap plushie but it's it feels a little too accurate that's like a scary plushie to have like holy frick but i gotta say first of all that looks fantastic because it's like based off of the actual spring trap and stuff but then on the other hand, it's based off the actual spring trap, which makes it terrifying. So, because it's like when you think of a plushie, you're like, oh, it's supposed to be nice, cute. It's like a nice little stuffed animal that you can snuggle up with. But uh, that is, this is terrifying. I, I don't know how to feel about this. I've, 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 I have very mixed feelings. But all I'm gonna say is that this looks super, super cool. So if you wanted a plush version of spring trap, well, now you can. Instead of having the plush trap from FNAF 4, you actually have a f official spring trap plushie and look at that all oh, even the eyes like bulge out too it makes it like look all it looks it looks it definitely this definitely looks a lot friendlier than spring trap but it still looks like it could uh try to kill you in your sleep so uh yeah oh my gosh it even has like gore in it too oh my it even has the purple guy's head what the heck okay okay this is a cursed little plushie so on the body it's just mainly like a solid black body but with like spring trap suit like pl placed on it but then with the head i just realized it has purple guy's skull in it oh my gosh so you can actually change the skin to make it dark spring trap we talked about dark spring trap early in this video with the adventure spring trap but this is basically to represent spring trap from the sister location cutscene after fazer's fright burns down so his eyes are like completely solid and he's just a spooky spooky boy and he's like a darker he's just dark spring trap he's just a darker version or spring trap so uh there you go so uh he's also a skin for this plushie as well but i gotta say this looks really cool and i gotta go to the sub material tool and i need to see what this guy looks like without his um 
without his suit on because oh my gosh that oh oh no okay here we go so that's suit one suit two and then oh my okay so yeah as you can see that is cursed you got it this is oh my gosh you're just stuffing organs in a plushie oh my gosh what is this oh my it's just oh, this is oh no henry don't turn me into a marketable plushie no oh my gosh yeah well spring trap just straight up got turned into a marketable plushie here oh my god that's so messed up that, like imagine like you get like a little plushie and stuff and you this is just like this is the plush trap chaser pretty much just like like human organs in it or like human parts inside of a plushie like what the heck this is just I mean, it's cool, but then on the other hand, this is dark and kind of messed up, but it looks super cool, but it does represent Springtrap very, very well, so, uh, yeah, there is, um, there's, uh, there's the, uh, Springtrap plushie for you, so if you want yourself a little Springtrap midget plushie, well, uh, there you go, check out this add-on, and you can get yourself your own Springtrap plushie. Now, we actually have another plushie, which this is one I'm actually super excited to review, and that is right, after all these years, we finally have the Fredbear plushie so this is an old 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 fredbear model this just takes me back to 2015 whenever i look at this boy look at this fredbear boy oh my gosh so this is a super 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 old fredbear model but this one just has so many nostalgic vibes because so for so long in like 2015 and 2016 this fredbear um, plush model was super popular and it still is super popular to this day it's still super noticeable um it's so popular that even funko stole the idea um or like accidentally used the model and thinking it was like representing the actual fredbear plush from the games but they accidentally used it for one of their merchandise so that's how popular this uh this model is that it got some it even got merchandise unintentionally so uh yeah that, that's a that's a fun little story but yeah so we have the og fredbear plush model finally on gmod after all these years and all oh, the, the nostalgic vibes from this guy oh he's so beautiful you're as beautiful as the day i lost you oh this plushie oh it's so beautiful so uh, yeah so we got the fredbear plushie and again, he does have some body groups and some skin, so you can go over here, you can take away his, uh, you can actually change his body up to where he actually has a cut in him, so that kind of like represents Nightmare Fredbear right there, about how he has like the teeth in his stomach. You can take away his buttons, you can take away his ears, you can take away his eyes, and then you can also uh, give him s some teeth right there on the stomach right there, so you can actually make it represent Nightmare Fredbear and then you can also change the skin to actually have it represent nightmare as well So there's also a nightmare version of this plushie as well So let's quickly like put everything back So that's what it looks like with the like stomach cracked open But then you can also take that off and just have a nice little nightmare plushie as well So that looks super super cool. So uh, yeah, we got this Fredbear plushie right here. Oh, it's beautiful so anyways guys speaking of fnaf 4 we have oh my god what is this oh what the heck oh gosh yes guys that is right we have the nightmare amalgamation i don't know if i said that right or not but basically this is just all of the fnaf 4 animatronics combined into one so you have nightmare freddy nightmare bonnie nightmare chica nightmare foxy and nightmare fredbear all merged into one character this is the definition of salvage so if you guys you guys remember back when fnaf 3 was coming out people were like oh my god spring traps like a, a combination of all the animatronic parts well guess what fnaf 4 has in store for you we have this boy and oh my gosh this just looks terrifying so uh yeah so this is basically yeah the the crying child is uh not surviving against this thing this thing's just gonna rip the door off the hinges off the wall so uh yeah if you're the crying child you're screwed and uh just go ahead and accept defeat so uh yeah but oh my gosh this is terrifying look even the toe it's got super sharp toes you know you know you're screwed whenever this dude's this dude's this dude can kill you with his toes that's when you know you're screwed and when you can be killed by his toes oh my gosh so uh yeah so this dude has four arms and again it's like a combination of all the different nightmare parts i gotta say it looks super super cool so you have like nightmare fredbear's foot nightmare chica's leg nightmare freddy's leg nightmare bonnie's leg you got nightmare foxy's arm nightmare freddy's arm nightmare bonnie's torso nightmare freddy's torso you got nightmare freddy's face nightmare bonnie's face nightmare fredbear's jaw nightmare fredbear's hat you got nightmare foxy's hook so uh, yeah so this dude does have four arms as well which makes it even more terrifying so uh yeah oh my gosh look look at this that is 
Oh my gosh, that is, that is, that is spooky. Oh my gosh. This also makes me realize, how does, uh, um, even with, like, their original nightmares, how does the crying child survive against the nightmare animatronics just by closing his doors? You think the nightmare animatronics would be strong enough to be able to rip the doors off, but apparently not. But this dude definitely should be able to, but oh my gosh, this thing is just terrifying it's got wire wires and stuff like pouring all out of it like this dude this is terrifying but it looks so freaking cool so if you want to check out this boy he'll be in the description as well oh my god he even has got like wires coming oh my gosh it's like again this is like a nard basically it's like all the sister location animatronics like break down and form a nard but it's time traveler moves a chair and instead of it being the sister location animatronics in the underground facility it's actually the nightmare animatronics and they merge to form this boy instead of a nard oh my gosh this is just holy frick talk about candy kid that story about five things becoming into one well yeah now we got five nightmare animatronics becoming one spooky nightmare animatronic oh my gosh and also whenever i look at this boy i can't help but think about the the uh about creation from the joy of creation oh my gosh so obviously this boy does have some body groups right here so you can take away his eyes you can take away all of his different suit arms his suit ears so you can kind of show off that endo bindo so let's just go ahead and let's just enable all of this stuff right here oh my gosh look at this boy slowly start coming up oh my that is terrifying with his bottom jaw ripped off those top teeth oh my they're so crooked but that makes it so much more terrifying oh my look at that mask so uh yeah so we're gonna go ahead and remove all of this stuff right now we're removing all of its legs oh my gosh look at this endo bindo this is the spookiest endo bindo of them all oh my gosh and there goes the ma oh that's the fit that is cre oh my that just straight up looks like like one of the um the fallen ones from the joy of creation one of the joy of creation endo skeletons right there because of all the wires coming out on the sides oh my gosh what is this thing but yeah this is this is the endo skeleton of this thing you can actually just straight up just take the arms off right there oh my gosh this is just that's just terrifying oh my i'm scared i'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight so again this boy will be in the description below feel free to check him out oh my gosh that is terrifying all right so next up we got is some final nights for ragdolls so these are brand new final nights for ragdolls but just like the fnaf world portion of this video i'm also going to go through this part super super quick because if you guys remember about two weeks ago i went over a brand new final nights for next bot pack but anyways the models from that have been turned into ragdolls so we got ragdolls of all the characters so i'm gonna just quickly glance over these guys and just let you guys know that there are ragdolls of the final nights for characters so you got final nights for fredbear you can take all of this stuff off i'm not really gonna do it you got bonnie as well you got the uh what is i forget what these guys are called it's like the beta fredbear or springlock freddy or something or like springlock bonnie as well so uh, you got these spooky characters as well again we've already i've already shown these models off in a previous video so uh that's why i'm just glancing them over but and i'm just letting you guys know that there is ragdolls versions of these models as well and these ragdolls are also very well made as well super flexible even the ears have a bit of a jiggle to it so uh that's super nice so you can make the ears go like flump and uh, i don't know if you can do it with yeah you can move this dude's ears barely um, so they do move so they do have jiggle physics as well I'm pretty sure it's the same with Fredbear's ears, but it's hard to grab onto them So uh, there you go. So you have all these final nights four characters They will also be linked in the description below there's also another Final Nights pack in this video as well, also from Final Nights 4, the Burnt Animatronics. And if you guys remember in the uh, next bot video that I showed off, there it only consisted of Burnt Chica. But this Ragdoll pack does have all the other Burnt Animatronics, so it has Burnt Freddy, Burnt Foxy, and Burnt Bonnie. Um, but again, I am going to kind of go through these slightly speedy, especially with Chica and Bonnie. Um, so let's go ahead and start off with these two. So here's Burnt Chica. Again, I showed her off in the next bot video as well. So. I'm not really going to be talking about her for that long, but again, you could like take off all of her suit stuff to reveal her endoskeleton. And then Burnt Cheek is also super creepy because like half of her jaws ripped off and like the red part on her jaw just makes it look like blood, even though I'm pretty sure it's not blood, but then like all the endoskeleton stuff are all rusty and stuff. I love the detail on it and even her eyes are all just like faded out and look lifeless, but you know, she's going to spring out and attack you. So yeah, this just straight up looks like just like all these burnt animatronics. They just look like animatronics like from a burnt building, which I mean, that makes sense. And that's that's what they are they're just like animatronic like if fnaf 2 just burnt down stuff this is what the withered animatronics would look like afterwards and stuff so i'm pretty sure that's the lore from final nights i don't really know the final nights lore that well um but i'm pretty sure it's just like that so there you go there's burnt chica nothing much to be said about her but she is missing a leg so rip and rest she has to walk on one leg but burnt bonnie here burnt bonnie just gets destroyed in final nights like i'm surprised this is even considered a character because it's just a torso and a leg 
that's that's burnt bonnie for you so yeah but this thing but bonnie is still alive and still possessed bonnie's like please just kill me just put me out of my misery and burnt bonnie has to like crawl around on the floor with only one like that is that's got to be extremely difficult if i was bonnie i would just want to die i'm not gonna lie just put me out of my misery at that point like how is bonnie still alive like this dude must really want revenge or something to still be alive because like if that was me i'd be like i i'm dead i'm i'm dipping i ain't surviving on just one leg but again just like landmark chica you can take off all this stuff and just have a, a an endoskeleton so yeah bonnie is uh definitely dead now and i'll go ahead and just do the same with the burnt chica as well so uh, this is what burnt chica's endoskeleton oh my gosh i uh, always with withered chica's like endoskeleton head it's just like so so cursed i'll leave the, i'll leave the eyes um but everything else can just go away so yeah this is uh this is burnt chica's endoskeleton i don't know why but for some reason this arm still has the suit on it um but yeah there's a uh, there's burnt chica's endoskeleton and burnt bonnie's endoskeleton by the way i gotta say i love the burnt animatronics i love the ignited animatronics and i also really do love the burnt animatronic designs they're always they're they are always so nostalgic and stuff because you guys remember like back in the days in the early days of my youtube channel i made fnaf statues i even made fnaf statues of the burnt animatronics as well so that's why i love these models so so much and it's so cool to see them get some love in 2022 so uh, yeah, but anyways, here's Burnt Foxy. So Burnt Foxy just pretty much had his head shaved off. He lost his ears and yeah, his whole head just got shaved off as well. But again, just like everyone else, he's got a rusty endoskeleton. And something that I think is very cool is like, unlike with Phantom Foxy, Phantom Foxy has his hook arm ripped off. But with Burnt Foxy, it's his complete other arm that's ripped off. So uh, yeah, rip uh, rip that arm. But his legs are still doing the same. He's still got the endo bindo legs, still kicking it, still running around. So uh, that's pretty much it for Burnt Foxy. Pretty much, it's pretty much simple. But again, we can go ahead and just take off all the stuff and also something with burnt foxy is that he's actually blind i'm pretty yeah burnt cheek is the only burnt animatronic that actually has eyes everyone else does not have eyes because i mean bonnie doesn't even have an entire head anymore um like bonnie lost his face but now he's lost his entire head so uh, this is what burnt foxy's endoskeleton looks like again oh my gosh that is just so creepy to see oh my gosh again this just looks like something that's just straight out of the joy of creation one of the fallen one endoskeletons oh my gosh look look at that endo bindo oh my gosh that's a rusty endo bindo boy so anyways we have the final burnt animatronic and this is burnt freddy fazbear so as you can see he's got like a huge scar on the side of his face he's missing his eyes um, and he's also missing his arms as well. Again, I, I love how like um, Burnt Freddy is like kind of similar to Ignite Freddy because he's missing his hands. Um, but something that's super, super, super sad about Burnt Freddy is yes, guys, that is right. Burnt Freddy lost his toes. He lost his toes in the fire. His toes are gone. He's got his feet, but he lost his toes. As you can see, Foxy still has his toes. But but unfortunately, Burnt Freddy lost his lost his toes. That is that is sad. Just kill me, please. I don't want to live. If I don't got toes, kill me kill me now so and also just like um burnt bonnie here burnt freddy also has to crawl around as well because without his toes he can't balance he's like oh no i'm gonna fall so burnt freddy also has to crawl around the place as well so he can't stand up um but burnt foxy and burnt cheek are the only burnt animatronics that can actually stand so uh yeah but here's burnt freddy i gotta say i love the burnt freddy design um Again, Freddy Fazbear just straight up got wrecked, but you can take away his bow tie. We can take away all of his stuff to reveal that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Indo Bindo boy. And I just took away his eyebrows. Um, so let's go ahead and strip Freddy of his clothes. Okay, that is a super sus sentence that I said, and that's probably going to be taken out of context. I am so, so sorry. But uh, let's go ahead and remove all this stuff, take off his teeth. Oh my, look at that. End oh my gosh, that is, that is terrifying. Okay, let's get rid of the pelvis. Look, that is, I do not, that Indo that endo jaw especially with the endoskeleton jaw right there that is creepy that i'm not gonna lie that is probably one of the most creepiest endoskeletons i've seen i know i said earlier about the uh, fnaf 4 nightmare endoskeleton being super creepy but this this is just pure creepy right here like imagine like you're this thing's just gonna be like sitting still in a room you're gonna have to do some stuff and all of a sudden you just look back at it, it's just staring right at you even though it has no eyes that is just that is creepy that is terrifying i gotta say out of the burnt animatronics burnt freddy's endoskeleton is definitely my favorite endoskeleton that is creepy that is just oh my gosh that is creepy holy frick oh my gosh but yeah so anyways that is it for uh for burnt freddy so uh and that is pretty much it for all the final nights four characters again i know i showed these off in a previous video but i just wanted to let you guys know that there is actually a proper ragdoll pack out now so uh, feel free to check it out link in the description below all right guys so next up we have oh my gosh what the heck so yeah we have demon bonnie toilet so the bonnie toilet is back 
and it's a demon this is why does this exist this is curse the the withered bonnie toilet strikes back and actually has a lid on it this time but uh yeah it's gonna oh yeah go ahead try to poop in me try to try to sit down yeah that's right big mistake oh that would hurt that would hurt so freaking much oh my gosh and wait does it just like what the heck so yeah this is basically the bonnie toilet has been possessed and has become a spider this is this is cursed but this exists and uh, you can take away the eyes and also you can take away the endo face as well so you can make it faceless this is this is too spooky for me this is i i don't think i'm gonna be able to go to the bathroom ever again i i'm not gonna be able to sit on the toilet peacefully ever again oh my gosh this is so yeah it has eight legs oh my god imagine just a toilet just a cursed demon toilet just crawling around on the ceiling it's like now this is now this is true fnaf horror Oh my god, this is what FNAF, this is what the FNAF animatronics are going to look like in 2030. Oh my gosh, but this exists, so if you want to check out, link in the description below. Feel free to check it out, it's, a, uh, it's cursed. All right, so anyways, guys, this next model we have is actually a really cool one. So next up we have is a Pinky Pills Spring Bonnie model version 2. So if you guys don't know what the Pinky Pills Spring Bonnie model is, um, the version 1 of it is what I used for my creepy Spring Bonnie character in my Gmod FNAF AU. And recently, a version 2 model has come out. So this is basically basically an updated model of that Spring Bonnie model. So this is version 2. Too. So this is what it looks like and I know people are probably gonna already start asking like are you gonna use this version 2 instead of the version 1 in your Gmod FNAF AU? No, I'm gonna continue using version 1 mainly because of the spooky eyes on it But I know I could give it to this one, but I still love the version 1 of the pinky pills spring bonnie um, But this is version 2 so if, um, I'm just here to show it case it off because it recently came out So if you guys want to check this out, it'll also be in the description It does not have any body groups, so it's pretty much just spring bonnie just splat out in front of you So what uh, there you go spring bonnie again? I've you guys have seen uh, the pinky pill spring bonnie version 1 in the past um, so this is just a bit of an updated model to it. So again, just wanted to let you guys know that this ragdoll does exist. So uh, I gotta say this is very, very, very cool. So uh, links in the description as well if you guys want to check this out for yourself. Now this video is like over 40 minutes long. So as you can tell, I am starting to kind of speed through this because this video is getting super long and uh, I don't want to waste any of you guys' time. So I'm going to try to speed through the rest of these add-ons because there's still so many more add-ons and most of them are super random like this next add-on. Alright guys, so next that we have is Coca-Cola Chica and Pepsi Chica. What is FNAF become? Is, is this is this sponsored? Is this a sponsor? No, it's not a sponsored video, unfortunately. But I guess I'm I'm guess I'm showcasing Coca-Cola and Pepsi. Um so uh, yeah, so we have Coca-Cola Chica and Pepsi Chica. So the animatronics have been sponsored. The uh, Fazbear Entertainment was desperate for some money, so they had to get a sponsor. And um yeah, this, they turned their animatronics into into sponsorships so uh there you go so we got coca-cola chica and pepsi chica um both of these do have two different skins to where you can make the eyes glow up and that is just that is spooky so uh yeah um this is this is random but this exists so uh, i i told you guys this next one was going to be random so uh yeah we have the coca-cola chica and the pepsi chica so uh i'm gonna start a war but uh, let me know what do you guys prefer do you prefer coca-cola products or pepsi products i personally love i love both both products i'm not gonna lie i love both of them but i probably do slightly like a bit more coca-cola products than pepsi products so uh, let me know in the comments but let's not start a war um we're, we're here to have fun and peacefulness um i think i started a war Oh no, but uh, yeah, there's a uh, coca-cola chica and pepsi chica. They're on the workshop as well So feel free to check out these characters. I don't know what to do with these. They're just super random They're just coca-cola is red and pepsi is blue. So uh, I mean that's that's pretty self-explanatory So there you go. These exist. There you go <laughs> So if you guys thought the Coca-Cola Chica and the Pepsi Chica were random, well, now I got even more random add on. What is- what, is, what am I even reviewing anymore? Is this even FNAF anymore? I'm- I'm, I'm so confused. I mean, it is FNAF because it's Mangle and Fredbear, but like, what- what are these characters? What the heck? So first up, let's start off with this boy right here. And this is apparently- this character right here is apparently called Brow Bear. I- yeah, that- that's his name. Is that- is that right? Brow Bear? Yep. That, that's his name, Brow Bear. So we got Brow Bear, basically an alternate version of Fred Bear. So uh, yeah, here's Brow Bear. And for some reason, I don't know why, but for me, his hat, his nose, and his bow tie and buttons are missing textures for me. 
Also, I think there's some stuff in like the endoskeleton jaw right there that's also a missing texture. I don't know why it's a missing texture, but this video is so long and I don't want to spend forever trying to fix it. However, if this is also a missing texture for you guys as well, you can easily fix it by going to the sub material tool and quickly just scrolling down and being like, and just find some purple texture. For instance, I'll just get this coarse plant texture. Actually, here, let's find a better a purple texture. We can use this magenta texture. So basically what you can do is you can go in and then you can change his purple to that. And then we also have his stripe, which I think that's what this black is right here. I think it's, yeah, boom. So uh, there you go. You can easily fix Fredbear up just by doing that with the sub material tool. So the sub material tool always comes in clutch. So uh, that's how uh, that's how you can fix him up. So uh, there you go. But there's Brow Bear. Now, obviously this boy does have some body groups so you can take off all the stuff to show off his endo bendo. But this video is getting super long. Unfortunately, I don't have time to do all that. So we're gonna quickly speed through it, but we're gonna go over to his skin. So he does have a skin. So he does have a shadow Fredbear skin. Oh my, look at this boy. This is, this is scary. So this is Shadow or Shadow Brow Bear, I should say. Wait, what are these characters anymore? Holy frick. Um, he doesn't have a, he doesn't even have like a unibrow. What the heck? Well, I guess it's not called unibrow Fredbear. It's just called Brow Fredbear. But anyways, moving along, he does have a second skin and this is basically Spooky Eyes Brow Bear. Oh my god, why is he, is he about, what, what the heck was that? He's about to attack me right there. His arms just started going all over the place. Um, but, uh, yeah, so there's Brow Bear. Nice and simple. So if you love this beautiful, beautiful boy, Boy. well he exists and he is lovely and he is wanting some hugs so we'll go ahead and give this boy a big old hug he wants he just wants some love he's like please love me so um yeah anyways next up we got is this character right here this mangle character thing and apparently the name of this character is called Laggle. So if I'm correct, I'm pretty sure this is actually a character from a SFM series on YouTube. And uh, this is very, very interesting. Basically it's Mangle, but her body was like audio. So this is just Mangle's head on her legs. So uh, yeah, and there's two different versions of it. There's like the fixed Mangle and then there's like the broken down Mangle. And uh, this is creepy. Imagine, imagine if this is what Mangle looked like in FNAF 2. <laughs> This is so weird because it just doesn't have the endoskeleton torso on it. It's just like mangle, but without the, the torso. This is just, it's so weird. What the heck? What in the world? So uh, yeah, so, so this this creature exists. And if you want to check it out, it'll also be in the description as well. But you can go ahead and just like rip everything off of this character as well. Just go ahead and take everything off. And uh, you can take away all the endo wires. You can take away the jaw. Oh, 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 it looks worse. Oh, no. Oh, no. What? What? What is this review video? This There's like some like half of these add-ons are like official and stuff. And the other half is, is just pure randomness. Like what in the world? But these are great. So if you want to have these add-ons for yourself, you can. There's also different skins. So there's a skin of Tangle and then Lulbit as well. I'm pretty sure it's the same with this one as well. So yeah, if you want a Tangle version or a Lulbit version of this character, that's also in this pack as well. But again, you can take off all these body groups and stuff like that so uh there you go you have the laggle basically laggy mangle i'm i'm scared i'm scared i've just been terrified from all of these add-ons in this video what in the world so anyways speaking of random we actually have something that's not random we just have nightmare on this is actually a really cool nightmare on model model this is like one of the most accurate nightmare on models i've seen on the gary's mod workshop so we have nightmare on this actually looks really, really cool. I think I'm gonna start using it from now on because this is actually this is actually a really cool model and a really cool design. So, uh, and it looks super accurate to the FNAF 4 Halloween update. So this is so weird. We go from these random mangled, tangled, laggy ragdolls and Pepsi Chicas and stuff. And then we're going back to some like, oh, like some really cool accurate FNAF 4 Nightmare on ragdolls. Th this video is random, but it's almost 50 minutes long. Please help me. Please check out these add-ons and give them love. Oh gosh, there's so many add-ons. But anyways, we got Nightmare on, but this guy looks super, super cool. And I want to give him a showcase and uh, feature him off. Um, I I don't think he has body groups yeah he doesn't have any body groups but he did look super super cool and i want to show him off in this video so we have a super accurate nightmare on ragdoll i gotta say this is super super cool because for a while now um for my especially with like in my au and stuff whenever i use nightmare on i use the help wanted model of nightmare on and that model's like super rusty looking and stuff like that but i really love this model because it looks super accurate to fnaf 4 so uh, yeah nightmare on everybody and finally a normal a normal add-on nothing cursed about it and uh, oh no it it comes with tentacles and wait a minute that that's kind of sus my guy so there's also tentacles in this pack as oh no there's oh no there's there's gonna be a there's gonna be a lot of sussy stuff with this guy all oh, my why there's even small tentacles and big tentacle oh no this is 
This is cursed. This is dang it. You were supposed to. You were supposed to bring balance to the add-on workshop. Not leave it cursed. Not join the cursed side. God dang it, Nightmareon. So yeah, there's some tentacles and stuff. And obviously, this is like a reference to the help wanted mini game of Nightmareon, where like all the tentacles come flowing into the room and stuff like that. That. Nightmareon is a sussy character. These tentacles are sus and they make sussy noises. Um, but yeah, so this is also part of the Nightmareon pack as well as Nightmareon's tentacles. Oh god, this is sus. But yeah, here's Nightmareon. I gotta say, he looks really, really cool. I love him a lot. Alright, so next up we have is actually a really cool character and a really cool concept. We have Scrap Lefty. Yes, guys, that is right. Scrap Lefty. So if you guys remember from FNAF 6, Lefty was like the only scrap animatronic. Lefty was considered a scrapped animatronic, but also a rockstar animatronic. But Lefty was like the only like animatronic in the vents that wasn't actually like withered or anything like that because Lefty was just used to capture the puppet and bring the puppet to the FNAF 6 location. But this is scrapped Lefty. And I gotta say, this looks really cool. And it would have been cool to see this in FNAF 6 as well. But this is a really cool design. So this is scrapped Lefty. And even like right here, even I don't even know what this thing is. Is that like a, a dream catcher or something? I, I don't even, I don't really know what this is supposed to represent. It's just like a giant wheel with spikes or something. So uh, yeah, this is scrapped Lefty. This is basically Basically, if a Lefty was like more looked more like the scrap like the other scrapped animatronics like Scrap Baby, Molten Freddy, and Scrap Trap, so uh, got a bunch of wires on it and like got some spooky nightmare teeth again, super similar to Molten Freddy right there. I love that. I love how like Scrap Lefty here takes like a concept from all of the other Scrap Trap animatronics. For example, like Molten Freddy with the teeth. You got Scrap ba they represent Scrap Baby because of like all the wires and stuff coming off of it, and even like the one altered hand that it's like turned into a spiky weapon and even has got some stuff from scrap trap like the eyes like the fnaf 3 phantom eyes um so i think that is super super cool even at, like lefty's like main first regular eye also like represents like how like scrap baby's eye looks like in fnaf 6 i love it a lot so with our good old pal scrap lefty here lefty does have some skin so we got skin one where it makes the eyes all glow up and stuff like that you got skin two which i don't really know what 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 is what is oh it, it also changes the glow again as well it makes it a little less bright and then you got skin three which just does something i i don't know it it, it does something that that's that's all you got to know but anyways with lefty you can actually take away the bow tie and you can also toggle lefty's microphone so now lefty's got um, their good old microphone so lefty can still be left-handed here so hey that's actually pretty good it's good that left handy that lefty still has their left hand because they're they're left-handed so there you go there's a there's lefty keeping their dominant hand on them so uh lefty's lefty's making some smart choices in life so uh there you go there's a uh, there's scrap lefty so uh a really cool concept and really cool character this is actually a really cool design i'm surprised i've never thought of this before about getting lefty like all withered up and stuff to mimic the other scrap animatronics but this is actually a really cool design and i like it a lot Anyways, guys, next up we got is another FNAF 3 add-on. What is this, like, the third FNAF 3 add-on I've reviewed in this video? Holy frick, there's so many add-ons. Oh, my gosh, there's so many add-ons I've been missing out. Oh, my goodness. So, uh, yeah, this is add-ons galore for this video. Holy frick. But anyways, guys, next up we got is a FNAF 3 Spring Trap pack. So, we got Spring Bonnie, we got Spring Trap, we got Withered Spring Bonnie, and we got Withered Spring Trap. So, I'm going to go through this pack also super quick because, again, this video is over 50 minutes long. I did not think this video would be this long. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my goodness. But anyways, we got Spring Bonnie. And also, these guys don't have any body groups. So I'll go ahead and just showcase them all really quick. So this is basically Spring Bonnie, basically Spring Trap repaired. I gotta say, I love this Spring Bonnie model a lot because again, if you compare it to the Fredbear model that we saw it from Ultimate Cust Knight, it does look very similar to that. And it looks like it would be a great companion for that Fredbear model. Um, so I absolutely love this Spring Bonnie model. It even has a bit of the muzzle as well well like kind of slightly a different color so it represents like oh it's like actually like a bonnie character and stuff like that um so yeah here's spring bonnie i gotta say i love this spring bonnie model a lot probably one of the most like accurate spring bonnie models i think we've gotten on the workshop and stuff definitely like not one of my favorite models for like review vi like what wait what what the heck did i just say i not what the <laughs> basically what i'm trying to say is that these are very good accurate models that, that, that that's all i'm trying to say um that these are very accurate and i love how accurate they look um and this is actually what i do think spring bonnie would look like if we ever got a proper uh spring bonnie model in fnaf like an official spring bonnie model this is what i think it would look like this represents spring bonnie super super well 
But anyways, that's it for Spring Bonnie. So there you go, pretty much Spring Bonnie. Uh, we'll quickly glance over the Withered Spring Bonnie. So again, it's the same textures, but it's just got some withering on him. So it's like right before Purple Guy hops inside and gets Spring Trapped. This is what Spring Bonnie looks like. So as you can see, there's like a bunch of withering on him. Um, he's missing his bow tie. He only has that one button left on him. And his feet are starting to, starting to fall off and stuff. And all of his arms and limbs are starting to get withered up. And then he turns into Springtrap. So here's Springtrap meant to look just like him from FNAF 3. Again, I think this looks very well made for like accurate and stuff. And especially if this was like in FNAF 3 light and stuff. I'm pretty sure this would look like the exact same Springtrap from FNAF 3. So, uh, yeah, there you go. There's uh, there's Springtrap. I don't really got much to say about him because, again, it's Springtrap. You guys have seen millions and millions and millions of different Gmod FNAF Springtrap models on the workshop. So, there's Springtrap, nice and simple, but another model to be added. And I think this dude does look very cool. So, uh, yeah, there you go. There's Springtrap. And then there's also a Withered Springtrap in this pack as well. So, basically, you could say this is Springtrap after the Fire FNAF 3. As you can see, he's even missing his arm. So, this is Springtrap like, after FNAF 3, but before he turns into Scrap Trap. So, uh, yeah, this is actually a really cool Withered uh, Springtrap model right here. So, as you can see, it's like all torn up and stuff like that. So, uh, Springtrap has definitely seen some better saves. Um, wait, what did I just say? Why did I say saves? I meant to say days. Springtrap has definitely seen some better days, but he always comes back. All right, so next up we have is another super accurate model. So next up we have is a super stylized version of the help wanted Freddy Fazbear model. Oh, look at this beautiful boy. So this is Freddy, but he looks super, super realistic. So uh, yeah, so if you compare this to the Freddy and FNAF 1, again, it's like the same colors and stuff like that. But whenever I look at this, I don't think of the exact same like original Freddy from FNAF 1. Whenever I look at this, I, I, th I like to think of this as like, ooh, this looks more like a realistic version of Freddy, like a real life version of Freddy Fazbear. It's like if somebody made Freddy Fazbear in real life, I have a feeling this is probably what he would end up looking like and like i say he looks really cool um again he's got a bunch of realistic texture in on him um his bow tie and hat is super shiny i love with the shine on it it makes it like look like it's kind of purple but it is black but it kind of likes um like hints towards fredbear and stuff like that which i know that's like unintended and stuff but i think that still looks cool but this dude doesn't have any body groups or any skins or anything like that but he does got his trusty old microphone it's super super shiny so yeah this dude his endoskeleton and his microphone and stuff is super shiny but yeah so we have this super cool stylized help wanted freddy fazbear and this dude looked really cool so again this is something that's super small but i thought it was worth checking out and showing it off just in case if anyone is interested in this boy and um apparently this is a part of a pack i think because currently in this it only has freddy so i have no idea if in the future it's going to add like bonnie chica and foxy in the future but right now it only has freddy um but i think it looks pretty cool so freddy fazbear is in fact ready Alright guys, so next up we have is the Love Taste model. Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> ah! Oh no. Alright, so we have Love Taste, Toy Chica, and then we also have Fritz. Um, so, uh, yeah, so, uh, let's, let's go ahead and check out this boy first. So, basically, this right here, this represents the night guard from FNAF 2. You know, security is like, yo, what's up? Just working the night shift, you know, nothing going on here. You know, I'm just chilling here. We got my snazzy tie, I got my name tag. You can call me Smith, and, um, I'm gonna slap ya. And, uh, yeah, I'm just a night guard, you know, working a nice, peaceful life. You know, there's no spooky animatronic. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh dear lord. Well, that's it. Go stuff me in a suit. Uh, go kill me. Ooh, ooh, stuffing in a suit. Ah! So, uh, yeah, we got the night guard right here. Just nice Fritz Smith. Uh, he is going to suffer. And he's like, please, Mr. Sun, where's the sun when I need him? Please save me from the simp. So, yeah. So, then we have Love Taste Toy Chica. And this is a very, very, very noticeable Toy Chica model. Basically, it just shows off Toy Chica's features i guess toy chica in fnaf 2 toy chica is a very sus design that's that's all i'm gonna say she's very sus and this makes her even sussier so uh this is oh this oh this is this is a sussy a sussy wussy toy toy thicker model but uh, yeah this is this is on the workshop again as me being the only main g well i mean sure there's other people who review gmod fnaf add-ons but as being the one who showcases the majority of gmod fnaf add-ons 
I'm forced against my will to showcase this model and to inform you guys that this exists. So yes, this this does exist. So uh, if we were gonna, if we weren't gonna have nightmares before, we definitely are gonna have some after this model. But I gotta say, this model is still very well made and stuff like that. This model has been around, like floating around for a while. Um, but it recently came out on Gmod, so uh, I, I'm I'm forced to show you guys it. So uh, yeah, here's that here's the love taste toy chica model. As you can see, it's just toy chica, but um, she's super sus and um. Oh no, she's she's loving for some taste and uh wait that's a uh, that's kind of sus. So uh, yeah, there's a uh, there's Toy Chica. <gasps> Shut up! All right, guys. So we've had a ton and ton and ton of wacky different models. We've had some like really cool official like based models, like you know trying to represent like the accuracy and try to represent the actual character from the game. We got some funny little bootleg models. We got some sussy wussy models. So uh, yeah. But anyways, guys, there is one final pack for us to check out today, and that is the. Uh, uh, uh. I quit. I I quit. Yes, guys, that is right. We got the Five Nights at the Krusty Krab animatronics. This is the most random add-on review video ever, and this is also one of the longest ones ever. Oh, no. I set my green- Gregory! Gregory, my room's on fire, Gregory! Oh, no. The trash can, Gregory! Oh, no. So, what? Uh, yeah, so we have um, Five Nights at the Krusty Krabs. Oh, dear lord. The fire is spreading. Let me try to put out this fire. So, yes, guys, that is right. We have SpongeBob animatronics so uh yes this uh this does exist so uh this is from the uh the, uh, the uh, spongebob fnaf fan game right here these are the models from it and uh basically we got the main spongebob cast as animatronics so uh, M mr krabs the robots are taking over oh no so uh yeah I, I never played that game i think it's called five nights at the crusty crab i think that's the name of the fan game as well um but i don't remember off the top of my head but i never did play that uh spongebob fnaf fan game and honestly i don't plan on playing it um it's it's a little too sussy wussy for me <laughs> so uh yeah but anyways you got the main spongebob gang um everybody loves spongebob i love spongebob so uh yeah but these are these this is technically fnaf so i gotta review it as well so basically you got all the main characters you got mr crabs you got spongebob and you got oh my god they did my boy squidward dirty oh look at squidward what is Squ <laughs> poor squidward man squidward's gone downhill you got sandy sandy cheeks she's got some big old cheeks and then you got patrick right here oh my gosh that i think guys patrick guys i think patrick caused the bite of 87 i'm not gonna lie oh my gosh so uh yeah you got all these characters they do have body groups and stuff they got skin oh my gosh you got cursed mr crabs cursed spongebob Curse Squidward, curse Sandy, and then curse Pat. Oh my God! The the count the the council will decide your fate. Oh no! But uh, yeah, these these do exist. So if you want to check out these SpongeBob animatronic ragdolls, they they'll also be linked in the description below. Oh gosh. But anyways, guys, that is it for this video. I know this video was super, super long, over an hour long. Oh my gosh, that's insane. But that showed you how many add-ons I missed out on. So hopefully, I should be all caught up on Gmod FNAF add-ons, but I am sure by the time I upload this video, a new add-on will have come out. So that's that's always just my luck. So uh, yeah, but anyways, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I know it was super long, but uh, and I know there's a bunch of add-ons showcased in this video, but I wanted to go ahead and make this big video just to go ahead and get caught up on Gmod FNAF add-ons, and that way you guys can be caught up as well. So yeah, so again, this video is just a way to show you guys what is all the new, latest, and greatest Gmod FNAF add-ons that have been added to the Steam Workshop. So uh, yeah, but anyways, guys, hope you guys did enjoy it. again make sure to leave a like on this video if you guys do want to see me continue doing these review videos whenever brand new fnaf add-ons come out for gary's mod and i will happily do so but anyways guys i'll go ahead and leave this video here for today so i hope you guys have a fantastic day and also again one last time i did upload the 2022 fnaf events map video yesterday but it did come out a bit later in the day so i just want to make sure you guys did not miss that video so make sure you didn't miss that video and uh yeah because that one was a lot of fun to record so anyways after i'll leave it on that note hope you guys Enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, Gregory.